Hi, today I'm here with Larry Parker from Axis Communications. Uh, he's going to show us some of the product. Thanks for joining me today, Larry. Thank you. Appreciate it, uh, Richie. Uh, also appreciate uh, Fairmont High School for uh, doing the filming today. Um, really what I'd like to talk about today, uh, actually uh, let me introduce myself first of all. I'm Larry Parker. I'm the Regional Sales Manager for Axis Communications in the Cincinnati and Dayton area. Um, so been in the industry for probably 25, 30 years. So. What I'd like to talk to you about today is uh, probably some of the most used cameras out there, uh, whether it be schools, retail, um, industrial, and such. It would be the 180 and 360 degree cameras. So I brought some today to show, and um, some of the advantages uh, you know, in using a 180, especially a 360, is you cut down on your overall camera count. Uh, so something that may have taken three or four cameras in the past, you can now use one camera to take care of it. Um, in a lot of cases, it is just one network drop, you know, so it's just one cable, cable run, as well as one license in most VMSs. So from an installation standpoint, uh, Richie, what do you see? What's uh, the most beneficial for you? Well, just overall uh, uh, bandwidth, you know, less cameras, less strain on the network. Um, customer doesn't see the problem of, uh, you know, slow networks when there's, you know, 12 cameras instead of 50 cameras to do the same thing. Um, that's, that's, that's the big thing with today with that's the right. way, you know, the smart home is growing. Yeah. We, we can't be eating up too much bandwidth, but we still need our cameras. All right. So, you know, without further ado, I'll just go ahead and show a couple of the, uh, the cameras. I'll start with the 180 cameras first. And actually, I just have one of these today. Uh, so, we have a couple of variations. So, in a 180 camera, um, the idea is whether you're outside, indoors, you're going to catch a full 180 degree view. Uh, the amount you can see going out or distance away from the camera is going to depend on the resolution of the camera. This particular camera here is our Q3708. So, this is actually a, a 4K camera. Uh, so, this will this will show up in a VMS in three different slides, basically, but it's going to put them all together so you can see a full 180 degrees. So it's going to basically be 60, 60, 60. So we have another product. It's the P3807, which is actually, I believe it's a five, uh, six megapixel camera. It will actually stitch. So it'll stitch four images, whereas this is three. So it's basically three separate sensors it will take four and we'll stitch them together to give you one really good picture, which, um, you know, is, is probably one of my favorite cameras uh, from a 180 perspective. Also in this line in the 180s, we do have a 33 megapixel version, uh, which is also a three sensor or three camera. And that one does take three licenses as opposed to the other two. It just, the other two are one license, one network drop. So there are three separate licenses in the, um, the 3709. So, but it is a 33 megapixel. Probably this one here, the 3708, the 4K version, as well as our P3807, which is the stitched uh, version, are probably the most popular 180s. You had any experience, Richie, with any of the 180 cameras? Oh well, yeah, we've, we've used them quite a bit for uh, parking lots and stuff where, okay. you, where you just need to see the front of the building and, Excellent. you know, and keep, keep track of the, the front of the building as opposed to what's behind the camera. Right. Um, now in this particular line, uh, you know, Axis has a great companion app if you don't want to use VMS. Does this line particularly work with that or is so it? The, yeah. So the companion actually is, a, it's a VMS, but it's a free VMS from Axis. Uh, it's really limited to anywhere between eight and 16 cameras. But, you know, I, as far as all the, the stitched image from the 3807, that might be a little tougher because it is more of a free version. We mm -hmm. do offer Access Camera Station, which does integrate fully. Mm -hmm. But most all of our cameras you can use in the Access Companion line with the software. So like this one here would uh, take three channels out of the app or? Right. Yeah, so it would take three channels out of your 16. Um, but for a small installation, it still is plausible. Yeah, um, it is. You know. Yeah, most of the time in a small installation, you're probably going to see probably smaller cameras, but you know, on occasion you will see this. And you brought up a good point. This is excellent for parking lots, excellent for the side of a, a school or a building, um, anywhere you're trying to secure uh, you know, a particular area. So it, it gives you a pretty good, uh, I, I would say really 
on the 3807, which is a little bit less in resolution, you're probably looking 25, 30, uh, probably 25 feet identification. You can probably get out to 50. Once you get into the Q series, the Q3708 and 3709, you're probably looking more, you might be able to get an extra 5, 10 feet, uh, especially on the 09, mm -hmm. but you're talking 33 megapixels. So. Okay. And does this line of camera have a night vision in it? So this one actually, this one here does. So it does have IR um, in it. So yeah. up, to, up to 40, 50 feet as well? That I, wouldn't, I am not positive on. Okay. I'd have to actually check our, uh, our, our tech data sheets on uh, access.com. Okay. All right, so, what else you got? So this is 180. So prob probably uh, the most popular, one of the most popular cameras we have um, are our actually 360 degree cameras. So we have a couple of different versions. So this is our P3717-PLE. So it is a panoramic outdoor IR censored camera. This is a 360 degree camera and not sure if you can see, but it does have four sensors. These sensors are actually on a track so you can move them as you need. So depending upon uh, your particular environment, you can actually move them to a 270 degree view. Maybe it's a 180 you're looking for, but just extra coverage. So once again, four sensors, two megapixels each for a total of eight megapixels. Then we also have our P3719, uh, which is actually a higher resolution model. And this one is four by 3.75 uh, megapixels per sensor. Same type function, just gonna give you better resolution. Also IR panoramic outdoor. So very versatile cameras. Um, you know, very, uh, very popular cameras. Probably one of our favorites from a uh, education perspective, whether it's K through 12 or uh, you know, post um, high school uh, education, is this little, little guy here. This is a fisheye 360. Most of the time when people um, think of fisheyes, they think of that bubble view, which is just not a very good view. This one actually has 12 streams, so you can actually, this camera will de-warp. You know, depending upon the VMS, most VMSs, most of your major VMSs will um, de-warp. So you can actually dig down into a picture and go 360 degrees. Yeah, as if you're walking around inside the, the shot. <clears throat> exactly, so really good camera. And as you can see, it's got the IR ring on the outside. This is also an outdoor or an indoor camera. Yeah, we've used, we've used a ton of those uh, for all kinds of different situations ourselves, um, whether it be outside watching parking lots right. as well. I've used that for small parking lots that have four or five spaces. It doesn't, you know, not a big, large parking lot. Yeah. Um, I've, used, I've used them inside of pharmacies to get a broad view of the, the pharmacy. Uh, yeah, these are very versatile, very, very nice cameras. These do come in a 6 and 12 megapixel option. Uh, but you are, due to the way it de-warps and everything, you're limited on your, your distance a little bit on that one, uh, but still a very good job. Great wide dynamic range. Yeah, low ceiling installations is what I found the best for yeah. this. Yeah, you, know. you definitely don't want a 20, 25 foot ceiling. You're yeah, going to yeah. kind of get lost on that one. Uh, the one thing I'll add before we, uh, before we end is mounting options. As I showed you on our 360 degree uh, camera, we do have different types of mounting action, or mounting options uh, such as this. One of our newer options is actually the um, recess mount. So now you're actually able to put these up in the ceiling like this uh, with the camera inside so you're not taking as much space. It's a little more uh, a little more uh, hidden so to speak as well too. So but uh, once again I, I appreciate everybody's time today. Richie I appreciate your time and um, you know, if anybody, if we can help you with any of your security needs, uh, definitely reach out to Richie, uh, as well as myself. Right. Anything more to add? Nope, that's it. Thanks for thanks for coming. Um, appreciate it. And uh, all right. sounds good. All right. Thank you. Thank you.